Hey y'all, hope you're all well. It's the beginning of June, and uh, that means it's time for the May stock, micro stock earnings report. Uh, it's our favorite time of the month for those of us that uh, care about this kind of thing for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna just jump right in and start with uh, Adobe stock. So my lifetime position as a contributor on Adobe stock is now 8,000. I've jumped up from 8,040. So 44, 40 spots up for the month. My portfolio size now is 8,733 images and 422 video. I have 889 illustrations now. So um, 89 were accepted over the course of the month. It's just so slow for exception or for uh, acceptance rates on Adobe stock for illustrations, but uh, slowly adding some in. My total sales on Adobe stock for the month of May was uh, 341 assets and the total earnings for that was $304.68. So that's pretty good for me. Um, of those sales, 339 were images and um, two were video. And uh, of the images, uh, 57 were illustrations. Uh, so. Sorry if that was uh, confusing, but uh, basically of my total of 30, 341 sales, uh, two videos and uh, 57 illustrations and the balance images, altogether $304.68. Uh, the total of the videos was just, or the two videos was just $7. So a $30.50 RPD. And uh, the images RPD, the royalty per download was 88 cents. So all in all, uh, I think Adobe stock was a pretty good month for me, and I'm, I'm sort of happy with uh, being at $300 on Adobe stock and uh, even uh, getting some good illustration sales. So the top three earning images on Adobe stock for me this month were the following photographs. So let's just jump to Shutterstock now. My portfolio size is uh, 11,421 images and 927 videos. I had a total uh, downloads for the month of May of 315. That was including 305 images and 10 video sales. So pretty high for me. The total was $401.04, so uh, a pretty pretty positive uh, Shutterstock total for me in the month. The images generated $307.84, and the uh, videos generated $93.20. So um, basically a quarter videos and three quarters images. RPD for the images was a dollar and one cent and the RPD for the videos was nine dollars and thirty two cents So a little bit higher, uh, but I did have a video that sold for sixty dollars uh, Just that one video sold for sixty so that was kind of the bulk of or two-thirds of the total video income and I had one photo sale uh, That was hundred and fifty dollars. So that was super awesome and it was this photograph here of Leiden Hall Market in London And I thought it would be worth showing that image because I took this uh, image of London uh, the last trip uh, last summer, I think, when we were in London. And uh, sometimes it's hard to shoot big cities that are, you know, covered in the database. You maybe feel like there's no point. Uh, but you know what? Uh, just photograph anyway and upload anyway because it you know, the, it might be your image image that's the one that's downloaded. And, uh, you know, you can't necessarily worry about the coverage too much. Obviously, it's it's part of your strategy. But uh, don't assume that uh, because a place is heavily photographed that you're not going to be able to take, take images or video and sell those yourself. So uh, that's kind of the, the lesson of... Uh, being positive for for this month. Okay, so let's talk about iStock, um, Getty iStock. 
I have 7,038 images on my portfolio, plus 170 videos now. I had 167 total sales in the month, and that earned me $103.85. So a good month for me at iStock as well, actually. The RPD, the royalty per download, was $0.62. Cents. Seven videos sold. Uh, the seven videos totaled $18.87 uh, in earnings. And my top selling asset for the month was actually a video, uh, which very rarely happens. It was this, uh, I'll, I'll play it. I don't know if I'll play the whole clip, but a little bit of the clip was this drone shot that I took last fall uh, in Calgary. And um, here you go. Okay, so let's move to dreams time. My port size is uh, 13,158 assets. That's made up by uh, 13,067 images and 352 videos. I had 53 sales over the course of the month of May that earned me $22.91. The RPD was 43 cents. Pretty low month for me on dreams time, actually usually in the 30 to 40 range. Uh, but it's still above 20, uh, which is okay. The top three selling images, three earning images on uh, Dreams Time for me in the month were the following three. The shot of Stephen Avenue here in Calgary. Uh, this photograph of Paradise Pier Hotel at Disneyland. And this Skyline Pano here in Calgary. Okay, so let's jump to Alamy. Uh, my Alamy portfolio is now sitting at 11,392 images. I had six sales on Alamy in May. The gross for those sales was $159.20. My take on that was $63.67. So not bad. I think only one was a partner sale and it was just one of a, a, the smaller sales. So for the most part, I got my full 40% commission. Uh, the two top selling images or top um, revenue based images, the, the ones that earned the most, I'm trying to spit that out, were this house was, were these two. This house under construction, this one uh, was uh, $47.88 and this shot of Disneyland here was uh, $93.25. Those are both the net values rather than, or sorry, the gross values rather than my net. I think it's probably obvious. Um, one thing I did want to say, just about the first image, the house under construction, uh, that's been a sort of subject area that I've photographed uh, quite a bit and has done pretty well for me. So if you're around areas where there's uh, new developments or new things being built, new office buildings, new residential, new commercial, uh, new attractions, whatever those things are, those can, those can pay a little bit. Uh, they're not the highest earning category, but, but there's, there's a, they are a category that sells, so keep that in mind. Okay, let's go to Pond5. Uh, right now, my portfolio at Pond5 is 7,333 images, and I have 1,953 video there. I had two sales in the month of May, one video and one image. The video sold for $16.32, while the image sold for it. 25. So the total was 1755. Uh, the video that sold was this shot of a cruise ship pulling into the port of Juneau, Alaska. Uh, video from last summer, actually. Okay, let's talk about deposit photos. I have 11,147 assets in my portfolio, all images. 
I had 82 sales and I earned $21 for a 26 cent RPD. Uh, just kind of hums along, doesn't do much. It's not a performance vehicle. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of an old ladder that just, you know, makes it to the corner. So that's all deposit will ever be for me, sadly. Uh, black box, I have 146 assets accepted. I've never sold anything there. I, I think a lot of this stuff is uh, pretty generic that I'm submitting. Um, flying the drone from my backyard and doing a lot of residential stuff. And the better stuff I've actually uploaded directly to the to the other sites. So uh, probably not a winning strategy on black box and that's probably reflected with my lack of earnings on those sites or that site. Let's just jump to the minnows. Um, wire stock, I have 545 images in my port. I had 14 sales uh, actually in May and uh, that earned me $12.34. So that was a bit of a surprise, but one of them was an $8.40 image that uh, I sold on Shutterstock actually. So it was a Shutterstock based sale that came in through Wirestock and it was a pride flag. So it's pride month. Uh, and um, pride tends to be um, an image intense uh, thing. And so it's, uh, if you're a stock photographer, it's something that you wanna sort of get in front of because it does revenue generate. And so a lot of uh, pride flag images sold for me in May actually. Okay, let's jump to big stock. I have uh, 8,084 assets, all images. I earned $3.51. Uh, 123 RF, uh, 5,304 assets in my portfolio, all images. I earned $9.09, .09, which is probably my biggest monthly earnings on 123 RF in forever. Sad as that is. Can stock, I actually sold something. Uh, I have 17. 133 images there. I earned a buck fifty. Not lighting the lights on or the house on fire there, but uh, <laughs> it's it's actually rare that I get a sale there now. And um, new kid on the block. Actually, I subscribed or I joined. I applied for Motion Array based on uh, the results that Miro was getting. So I just got my first five or six uh, assets because you have to apply with five assets. So I got my first five assets accepted in May and uh, all videos I applied with, uh, time-lapse actually. And uh, so just those few assets and then they were just up for a few days uh, and they actually earned me two bucks. So um, earn my, f you know, I got accepted and I earned my first $2 on Motion Array. I'll uh, let you know what I think of it um, after a couple months maybe. Uh, so look forward to having Motion Array as part of this uh, earnings report to the extent that that's something that you're interested in joining or uh, you're observing or you're participating in that now as a uh, contributor. So uh, that's basically my report. Uh, my on-demand site, photo for me earned me nothing. And my book cover site, Archangel, uh, earned me nothing as well. So uh, no surprise with that. But um, before I give my total, just uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support for this channel. Uh, it's, it's been nice to be able to get uh, monetized and to start to earn a few dollars off that as well. Uh, so I appreciate everybody that watches and leaves comments and you know, uh, even those people that <laughs> click, click dislike on my videos, that's all cool. Uh, anyway, uh, my total for May was $963.14 from the stock sites. So that's awesome. Uh, of that $963, the videos earned $135.39. So like $136 bucks basically of that, of the total was video. So kind of creeping up a bit. Uh, that's all good. Super happy to be around the $1,000 mark, uh, given my target is $600. Anyway, I've waffled on a bit here today for a bit, so hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, you got a little bit of uh, some tips, some um, things you can Im implement, and maybe just interested in hearing how I did. 
All good. See you on the next one. Cheers.